everyone. Pastor Nathan here. Um, still play, praying through the Psalms together. We're in Psalm 99, about ready to make it to the 100-digit mark as I've been reading through the Psalms. Today I'm in Psalm 99. One of the things that, that I think we'll notice as we ransack the Psalms for handholds, you know, handholds for places in prayer that provide sort of touch points or starting places if we need some help in our prayer life. One of the things I noticed with Psalm 99 in, in this particular way is that, well, there's a few things. So the first is that you know, in the first five verses of the Psalm, there are only nine verses, the first five, we notice two things. The first is that God reigns. And this is so, so huge in, in our day and age. No matter what our worldly circumstances, our outward circumstances, or our of internal turmoil may tell us, objective truth reminds us that God reigns. Um, and the psalmist here you know, leans into that objective truth. No matter what he's experiencing in this world, he's still able to say, the Lord reigns, let the peoples be glad. This is a monumental thing that God reigns in the world. He reigns, you know, for us, he reigns in here and he reigns out there. So as we're, as we're praying, we can, we can lean into this prayer and say, Lord, we thank you that you reign. No matter what my senses and my emotions may be telling me, objective truth um, kind of roots us there. Thank you, Lord, for that, for that objective truth. Another way we could take this psalm in terms of our own prayer life is the king loves justice and he loves equity. This is verses, um, this is verses four and following where he says it, he loves equity, established it. You've executed justice and righteousness in Jacob among God's people. Our God loves justice. He, he loves equity and righteousness. He loves fairness, um, when, especially when his people will, will, will treat each other fairly. And so for us, as we're, we're praying this, we could do a couple things with this you know, handhold in our own prayer life. The first is that we could be praying that God would work justice in the world. Not just justice on our behalf, but justice on the behalf of those against whom injustice has been done. Uh, the, that could be for you know, Christians around the world. That could be for oppressed people groups around the world. That could be for our own communities and neighborhoods where, where folks are being um, taken advantage of, abused. Um, there's places where we can uh, pray this for our communities. Um, we can also ask that our Lord would you know, help us to see where we can be his instruments in bringing about that, that justice, that equity, that righteousness, that, that fairness. So anyhow, hopefully that's helpful for you. Give you some handholds in your prayer life today as you're following Jesus. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Take care.